So, we, hello and welcome back to No Game Show, No No Name Game 2, episode 2. We have returning, re, re, returning contestant Karkerman, with our new contestants competing for the slot to return next time, Mizuhana, and, and, Notes of the Archive. We have them all. All our lovely contestants. So, round of the applause hands, you know? There was no, there was no blackmail involved here, alright? That's not a blackmail, it's a bribe. Where's my money? You, 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 what? I was told of illegal criminal activities to be found here. Go ahead. Talk by yourself I'm a little a bit. I'm a raccoon. Okay, is that all? I'm a raccoon that lives in your trash can. Mizu, give yourself a little introduction. I am everybody's favorite fin boy. I was also paid money to be here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> mm. Notes, give us something about yourself, I guess. I am Notes. Notes of the Archive. He who remembers history. Writes history. Alright, well that's, that's, that's history. enough That's enough for Notes there. Uh, so, how does everyone feel about our competition today, you know? <laughs> Come. Come? No. Uh, no, no, no. Kirk, Kirk, how do you feel about being back, you know? You, you, you won last time. How, how, you, how, how confident are you about today? I'm so happy that, that Catbox gave me a burger. You got a burger? When do I get a burger? <laughs> All right, let's not let's not get you know into semantics about what I gave who and stuff you like that. The, the bribes, discount coupons that you promised. I was promised discount coupons. Whoop. Name me something. Uh, where are we? Yeah, welcome back. Name me something. The uh, since Kirker's the only one here. That was actually here the first time. Let me explain what num name me something is. I'm going to give you a phrase such as something like name me something that's weird to find in a museum to reference something that was used in the first episode. And then you'll give me something that you think will be weird to find in a museum. Well, here, I will give my answer then. Uh, a Victorian era push pedal dildo chair. The actual answer to that is Napoleon's preserved penis. There's an actual museum that uh, that displaces preserved man parts. I'm, I'm guessing so, the UK because they ha they have <laughs> they they've stolen so much shit. Go, let's start with the first one though, Carker. Carker, you. Carker, name me something you'd not. Want to wake up to at 3 a.m.? Uh, naked grandma. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mizu, name me something you'd not want to wake up to at 3 a.m. Naked grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, notes, name me something you'd not want to wake up to at 3 a.m. <laughs> A naked shaved dog. <laughs> what? Are dogs naked though? Oh, uh, a dog is truly naked when it has no hair or fur. I'm gonna give this one to Mizu because hey. unoriginal, but also just gold, you know. Mizu, name me something that's safe for work. And not safe for work, depending on the context. Uh, a taco. All right. Notes. The mm. answer to that would be lubricant. Yeah, that that <laughs> that, that, that is that is true. <laughs> Carker, name me something rope. that's rope. 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 What are you gonna be using that rope for, Carker? 
Uh, say for work or not say for work? Just answer. That's your just answer at your heart. Uh, sailor knots. I'm gonna give that one to Carker. Congratulations, Ryan. Congratulations. <laughs> Name me something that makes you go feral. I feel like that's an offensive question. I would like to skip this quit. I would like to give this question to someone else. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, name me something that makes you go feral. Anna. Something that would rile my willies. <laughs> if you want to interpret it that way. Perhaps it would be the sight of fear. Fear, mm -hmm. the fear. legs. Mm -hmm. Legs. Legs, legs. Okay, thigh exactly. man. You're a thigh man, alright? Alright, Mizu, show me your thighs. Why would I want to do that? You're right. Carker? Uh, cat box. Name me something that makes you go feral. Yeah. Cat box. You never said What is his answer? <laughs> okay, fine, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Mizu, name me something. That makes you go feral. Rabies. Rabies. That is. That is factual. Oh, I, I, I gave. I gave. Hold on. I gave notes a point. It should be a Carker that has a point. Sorry, Carker. There you go. And you know, because I'm in the thanks because I'm the answer, I'm inclined to give you the point. So I'm going to give you the point. Congratulations, Carker. Parker, name me something okay to say online, but weird to say IRL. Uh, I have a fucking God. What's it called? I have a Hatsune Miku body pillow. Mizu, name me something okay to say online, but weird to say IRL. My hentai folder is three hundred gigs. <laughs> I think that's still weird to say online, alright? But, you know. Well, I figured I would lowball it. Notes. <laughs> Name me something okay to say online, but weird to say IRL. Let me repeat the question. Something okay to say online, but weird to say IRL. What is IRL? Remind me again. In, in real life. life. So, so would is, you like to take a look? Not at my I, collection. Please don't of, open. No, please don't open up your coat. Please don't open up your coat. All right. It's my collection of beast porn. I thought you had a problem with furries. That's misinformation. Hey, that's, hold on, he didn't say furries. He just said something else. He said beast. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> you know, don't pull this context. I forbid you all for pulling this out of context. <laughs> I Mizu. <laughs> Mizu, you get that point for I'm the for the hentai. Like, I'm not pulling anything out of context. <laughs> you literally just went like, yeah, no beast porn. You get you get the point for the hentai. Hentai mentioned, you know. Awesome. I even lowballed it too. The next game is actually a new one that it is that is appearing for the first time this episode. It is was that Florida man? It's pretty self-explanatory, honestly. Where I'm going to give you a news headline and you need to tell me whether you think it was was a news headline that came from Florida or was about a Florida man. Or if it was not. And if it was not, I'll give you a bonus point if you can tell me where you think it was from. And if you get it correct, you get a point for that. In May, uh, insist, yeah, in May, insist, syringes pulled from rectum aren't his. 
Was that Florida Man? Was Parker, you go for it. Okay. Inmate insist syringes pulled from rectum aren't his. Parker, do you think that's from Florida? That sounds like a Florida man, just because you don't normally hear about the... You don't normally hear about what's happening in the prison. Mm -hmm. Mizu, is that from Florida? Or is it from somewhere else? I go with it's from Florida. You think it's from Florida? Yeah. Notes? Where do you think it's from? It is... Hmm, that is a tough question. I do not pay attention to such trivial matters. But I would I say probably not. That was... Indeed... From Florida. So that is a point for Mizu and for Karker. Both of them at three points. That means notes are still at zero. Man fined for pretending to be a ghost in cemetery. Was that Florida man or somewhere else? It was not Florida. It was California. Where do you think it's from? I would, I would like to, I would like to clear out the allegations. Um, I, um, I was working the graveyard shift and everything, <laughs> so, mm -hmm. um, uh, definitely not from Florida. Okay, where? You. It's in the direction of the cemetery. Okay. Carter. Please explain what that means. <laughs> <laughs> where is it from? I was close to the cemetery. Then you know where it is. Why I know where it's from. I know where it's from. Carker. Was that Florida man? <laughs> <laughs> Carker. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not funny. That's not funny. That's not funny. Carker, where do you think it's from? Where, where do you think it's from? Where is, is it Florida Man? Is it not? You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna blame it on the fucking Europeans because the Europeans mm. are just as weird as Floridians. Mm -hmm. Where in Europe? Yeah, you like can't just say a continent. It's kind of cheating. <laughs> I didn't blame it on the continent. I blamed it on the people. <laughs> Where in Europe do you think it's from? I need to open up a map of Europe because I don't <laughs> know anything about Europe. Well, I'll tell I you heard... what. You are all correct that it's not for the man. But Carker... Carker, Carker is also correct that it is from Europe. Oh. Just, I want to know where in Europe. Um, it is actually the Florida of Europe, Britain. Man arrested for calling 911 after his cat was denied entry into a club. No, that's a fictional, uh, that's a fictional news piece. I don't think journalism would go two lengths to actually report in that. Alright, he's guessing fiction. I'm gonna say yes, yes it is Floridian. Alright. Mizu. I'm gonna say it's Florida. My final answer is um it's real. It's in Florida. You and I were um you and I were dating at the club. <laughs> we decided to go to this one club right behind Wendy's and um Wendy's nuts. I actually and um Hit your I chin. actually I actually invited you to this club to dance, but the uh, bodyguard did not de uh, mm -hmm. denied you entry. And um I was like, you know, I was like, hey, why why that's yeah, exactly. It's cat he he only exactly. denied he only denied me entry. He only denied me entry because he was jealous. He was just jealous that, this, that I'll look you. Police, because this bouncer was looking at Catbox weird, and I didn't take that one down. I I, oh. I was gonna kill him. I was gonna kill him, but instead I decided to do the right thing, you know the I right legal thing, and call nine one one. That happened as well. The fucking they they let the cat gir the girl with the cat ears in, but they you are all correct. It was Florida. You said it was Florida. man destroys karaoke machine 
with Shovel still on the loose. What was the suspect wearing? Th that wasn't an Sounds like important. victim blaming to me. We don't do that anymore. <laughs> Carker, tell me. Was that for a man? You know what? I'm just going to say it's not. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. We're going to go with Florida. It's not in Florida. I feel like that happened in Vegas. It was Maybe. not Florida, man. But it was not Vegas. It was not on this hemisphere. It was on oh, the think. Eastern Hemisphere. Where do you think it was, Kirker? You know what? I'm gonna put a few different. I'm gonna put a few places that I know, and I'm just going to put my finger randomly on it. <laughs> That's that's literally between Korea and fucking Australia. You know what? Fuck it off. Australia, just because CP lives there. He probably. He you probably are crazy. correct! <laughs> it was Australia! That means, Carker, you get the bonus point for being correct. <laughs> it is an Australian man. Australian man destroys karaoke machine with shovel, still on the loose. Yeah, I, I have to object to this. I, I really have. ZP. ZP. You it. I knew it. You only knew it. It was me, Cat Boss. I was the one who broke the karaoke machine. Well, it didn't represent my voice. That was. That was. Was that Florida man? Now. Real quick, we are going to cut away for a quick ad break. That way, doesn't ads don't interrupt in the middle of the game. So we'll be, uh, we'll be right back. Uh, I'm still getting those coupons, right? Uh, no. You're all muted. By the way, you're all you you all can't be here here now because on this. No, actually, I'm gonna. I should go here. I should go to the title screen. I'm on the title you screen now, so you can be heard now. Consequences. Um, no. You will face um, the consequences of not giving me we'll my be, coupon. We'll be here after. Back I'm after. Hold um, on, because I need to. I didn't. I need to add. Add it. Add. Add. Break. Uh. There it is. Am I? There it is. All right, we'll be back after these messages. Uh, once it runs, there we go. So we have a minute. We have a minute ad break. All right, how, how's everyone feeling though? I am currently losing at Mario Party. Are you sure, Jonas? In the middle of playing Mario Party? I'm in, I'm enjoying a burger. All right, all right. No, it's how you feeling? You think you think you think. Yeah, how are you feeling about this, though? You think you can pull back from this? I am feeling fine. Actually, I don't feel fine. Mm -hmm. I've been holding it in for quite a while, and I can't yeah. go to the bathroom. Yeah, are you feeling sense. it now, Mr. Krabs? It does make sense. <laughs> well, why are you doing this bit anyways? You know, no, it's... I am notes, notes of the archive. He mm -hmm. who writes history, he who remembers history, and oh, he who preserves history. He who takes note of history. All right. Well, we're back from the ad break. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to No Name we're Game Show. What? Yeah, we did an ad break what? because because well, ad break because. The ads are going to interrupt the game show if you didn't do ad breaks because I don't want to have it be in the middle of a question or something like that. Happy will miss out on something, you know. It's something I wish I had did in the, uh, in the there in the first stream of this because it ended up always interrupted uh, a game or something like that. It always interrupted something. Who? Oh, there it is. Who am I? I think that. Well, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I'm just yeah, good job, good job. You know what? You you know what, Mizu? You know what you should get for that. You get a point. Congratulations. 
Wait, you get a point. You get a point. Surprise points. You know that can happen. You know who there. It could be a real person. It could be a fictional character and stuff like that. But I'm gonna I'm gonna bar one question. That is, are they fictional? Um, I want you to have more creative questions to get the answer. First one you get the answer gets a point. Are you are you male? I am not male. Hmm? <laughs> Please don't cut that out of context. <laughs> don't cut that out of context. Me. <laughs> yes, Mizu. Baby. Mizu, who am I? You're Napoleon Bonaparte. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ask me a question. Ask me a question. Are you Napoleon Bonaparte? I am not Napoleon Bonaparte. <laughs> <laughs> the bony and bone apart was male. I am not male. That's highly debatable. Have you ever seen his penis? <laughs> oh, it's apparently preserved in the British Museum. It's in the museum. Yes, it's in the British Museum. Yeah, it's in the British Museum. Wasn't I asked if are you female? No? Okay, you're male. <laughs> Notes. Ask me a question. Why are you green? That's not. Do you guys not understand the game? <laughs> you at oh you asked if I was born uh, after the two thousand after two thousand, and I said, technically no. Were you in the military? No. Do you use a weapon? Not. Really? No, not really. Do you, uh, what? How not really. Not... No, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. Okay, so they're sort of a pacifist. Mm, yeah, Mizu. Do you have any strange identifying marks on your body? No. You can ask more open up any questions. I might get more of a response, by the way. Instead of a yes or no questions. Okay. Have you ever been to a strange place that you're not entirely familiar with? The first time? Yes. Uh, are you known for fighting? In most media, no. Box, you're circumventing your own rules. We're asking a yes or no question. No. Mostly no. Are you royalty? Yes. <laughs> she well, is royalty. Are you in an anime? I say kind of. How is there a kind of... Well, okay, I guess the question, yes. To clarify the question, but, uh, yes, I know, I know. Animated but... from Japan. <laughs> they are from Japan. Japanese I'll say that they are from Japan. Okay. Carker. Do you have a dark hair color? No. Do she you wield magic? Mm, not by herself, but she kind of something something like magic can be obtained. Are you in a relationship? I'd say it's complicated. Mm -hmm. The Facebook the Facebook answer. I can't believe it. Mizu. Do uh, does your character have an ab abnormal hair color? No, it's it is a normal hair color. Blonde and blonde, in fact. Did not say which hair color. You broke your own rule there. No, he he gave me more information. He gave me more information from the question. He wasn't supposed to do that. He was supposed to no, say yes or no. no I'm, I'm telling guys, the thing is, you guys don't have to ask yes or no questions. You can ask open-ended questions. Be like, 
Does she? You can it, ask me like, it, it does, like. It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to answer if yes or. No. Let me let me summarize. This is a princess who was not born uh, after two thousand. Then uh, probably from the medieval era, animated by uh, by Japanese studios, and they're blonde. So they're far. from a game as well. I can tell. You, I got it. You Princess Peach? Yeah, uh, yes, Princess Peach, yes. That took a lot. That took a very long it's time. It's a hard question. What? It's a hard thing to do. Does it really? You know, we have to make, you know, we have to make AIs for this. It's difficult. I'll tell you that this one, um, they're a real person. I'll tell you that this one's a real person. I'll just forgo that part. So, yeah, they're a real person. Well, that's gonna make it even worse. I don't care about flesh people. Fine. It's not a real Fine, I'll go with another person I have on here that's not a real person, then. <laughs> Would you like that? Oh, my. I Good job, Mizu. Good this, job. Good job. I was about to say, I know this probably would have been easy. Because I have only only have people on here that are well-known people, all right? It's not like some obscure historical figure. These are all people that you should know. Whether it be from pop culture or by actually paying attention to history class, you know? Very well. So are we sticking with a real person? No, we can go with the fictional one. Well, apparently they want the real one. Fine, we'll go with the real one then. Let's go with the real one then. Are you happy, Carker? Happy, yes. happy little raccoon? Yeah. Alright, ask away, Carker. Uh, does he have a penis? <laughs> Why is that the first question you ask? He does. He he did have a penis. I shouldn't say. I shouldn't say he like did. Um, like that. Was it called off? <laughs> no, no, no. He didn't lose it. He didn't lose it. He had it. He had it. He had it till he died, which he still had it. He still had when he died. He kept Jesus it, but Christ. I guess now it's gone with the ground, you know, so. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he's dead. He's no longer alive. He fucking... How big was his penis? That <laughs> is, I could look that up, but like, I don't. You don't have this information on hand? These let are me, important questions. Let me look it up. I don't think I'm going to get an answer. If I do, it's going to be in weird art, all right? <laughs> Mizu. Uh, ba, ba, ba. What were they famous for? I'm not going to answer that. Notes. You said open. You can't ask me to ask open-ended questions and then deny all the open-ended questions. Okay. They were famous for poetry. Well, that's cringe. What do you mean we're supposed to know them? Nobody knows poets. Yeah, was, was this author? Uh, was this author's novel works turned into a movie? Is that English? It's not noble-ish. Hmm. The fuck? Uh, were any of his works turned into? I would have a to movie? look that up because I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised, but I'm unsure. So is he an artist of some sort? He's a poet. I already said he was a poet. Oh fuck, I didn't hear that. Mizu? Mm. What type of poetry did he write? Dark. Um, perhaps... Perhaps, uh... Is his name, by any chance, Edgar Allan Poe? That is, I yes. It is Edgar Allan Poe. I hate you so much. Um, in instead of what this one's gonna be. This one's called Period Price, where I'm gonna show you items from the past, or I guess items that are modern-day item items that are still around today, 
and I'm going to show you their variants from the past. You need to tell me what you think their prices are as valued back then, and bonus points if you can tell me how much that would be today with inflation adjusted for it. I don't know. All these prices are going to be from items from the 50s. So let me bring up the first item onto the sales floor, which I should probably actually have a section for the sales floor, I guess. I don't know. Uh, let me go up to it. Meeting room where the incest is. And here it is. The first item. Wait, um, I did not hear that correctly. What did you say? First no, item on the sales you, floor. You first before? item on the sales the floor, floor in the meeting room is this 1950s refrigerate refrigerator from the year let me actually find the auction yeah I'll actually go to the back here the last thing from the year yeah 1956 refrigerate refrigerator then would be four four hundred and fifty dollars mm -hmm. right now it'd be up to a thousand dollars then it would have been around like fifty bucks and now it would be around like two hundred fifty. I mean, it was see. probably around four hundred dollars then, and mm. because uh, because there are, and because uh, there are uh, new and better fridges than this, and this particular fridge has no aesthetic value, I would no, say no 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 Infl um, inflation adjusted inflation adjusted for what the price was back when, then. All right, six hundred. All right. Okay, sure. We'll go with that. Um, so the retail price back then for this refrigerate high end refri refrigerate refrigerator was $469.95. Let's go! That makes Karkar the closest one. I'm going to give you all a chance to re guess what the inflated price is. I'm, I'm, I'm we're adding way too much to this game. I, I'm, I'm fine, gonna, fine. I'm, I'm I won't let you, point. fine. I won't let you re guess the inflated price then. Wait, so a piece of junk like this is valued over five thousand. No, 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 no. That's not its value. That's how much it would cost a day if the place if went up with inflation. You understand what well, inflation? You understand what inflation is, right? Right, notes. Yes, the price has right. increased because of the, of the demand that doesn't. No, 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 not uh, because of the demand. The supply doesn't meet the. No, 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 <laughs> no. You did not understand the inflation. Doesn't meet the demand. You do the not understand. No, it does not understand inflation. Well, I should actually give you. I should actual. Uh, I guess I'll give you a bonus point. Let's go. Next item, next item on the sales floor, kind of an item, is how much did a phone call at a phone booth cost in 19, during the 1950s? Five cents. Notes? I'd say a nickel. Corker. Uh, I'm going to say, a, I'm going to say a dime. Are we still doing inflated prices? Yeah, we're gonna be still doing inflated prices. I'm going to say a I'm going to say a dollar. You're gonna say it's gonna charge you a dollar today? Because you can still it find phone booths today, so you know. You're gonna say a dollar? Yeah, they then ten, technically they they cost if you use a phone booth if you even. Easy, we think the inflated no. prices. Five dollars. <laughs> All right. Uh, notes. The inflated price now? Yes. A dollar. It is five cents. So, Mizu and Notes, you both get a point because you both guessed the same price. Point for, point for Mizu and point for Notes. But, uh, you also you both see. went way over. You all three went over. Because the inflated price for it now would be... Adjusted for inflation is sixty three cents. Y'all oh, went pretty high over, and Mizu went way over. Yeah, we're, but we are working with prices right rules here, so if you go over, you don't get it. How much does this nineteen fifty one biker jacket cost during the nineteen? Yeah, during nineteen fifty one. Nineteen fifty one biker jacket. What's the cost of it? You think? 
from 1951? $50. All right. I would say during its time, it's probably around $150 because of the material used to fabricate that thing, as well as the design and the number of pockets it has. It was well, probably popular back in the day. I'm going to say a hundred and yeah, no, I'm gonna say hundred and fifty as well. But the notes, one of the no, notes be... saying one hundred and fifty. Yeah, yes, I also did say that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can't see this jacket being any 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 less than one hundred fifty. One hundred and seventy-five. All right. Uh, notes we send the inflated prices. Uh, now that that would probably cost around five hundred to eight hundred dollars. Well, you all went way over. You're kidding me. Yeah, you all went over. Again, I'm telling you, lower prices were still pretty expensive back then. So that jacket retailed price for. $33.95. But, you know, just for inflation, that jacket is fucking expensive because it would be $397.63. How much did this king size mattress cost for That's someone in the 1950s? And how much would it cost today? 50 then, 300 now. Mizu, how much do you think this mattress costed? In the nineteen fifth in nineteen fifty three, how much does this king size mattress cost? It's wooden furniture, so I'm pretty sure it's around seventy dollars then. Then it's about two hundred dollars now. One hundred and fifty. All right. Uh, about now, how much for inflation? All right. The price back then was seventy nine dollars back then. That makes notes correct. Damn. How much was y'all guesses for the inflated price? Two hundred dollars for me. I, I put three hundred. Uh, the price with it with inflation is eight hundred ninety-seven dollars. Jesus Christ. Probably because the um probably because they stopped the lumber industry through some. There's a decrease in activity for lumbering, so the prices for fair, these kinds of furniture are, yeah, fair, increasing. I thought, I thought we were talking about the mattress, not not the entire thing with the mattress. No, no, just the mattress. Yeah, I was thinking just the mattress. Yeah, just the mattress. This was just the mattress. I thought it I was said, the I whole said, furniture. No, I said king size mattress. He did say king size mattress. I was listening. Catbox, do I get an extra point for listening to you correctly? You do get an extra point for being such a good boy, you Carker. Dude, you're making points for this. You're, you're, this is rigged. Listen, listen. If you want to win, you got to be a suck up. That's how you win. All right. Well, that that was a uh, price period. I think I need some polish. But, you know, um, moving on to the final game. The last game of the episode, I think it's going to be a favorite of the show. Welcome back to... Hold on, oh. Welcome back to Caption This. <gasps> Who's ready for another set of really weird and cursed images? Caption these nuts. Um, Caption... This I image. Have no legs. <laughs> I have no legs. Help me. I have no legs. <laughs> Why are you saying off the side then? I have to physically put a caption on it, or I can just say what the caption. I mean, I think I think it'd be better if you all just said it now. And then it's funnier, Kirker. You can just say it. Uh, P.O.B. Me, me on my way to your mom. Bottom tux. Uh, Mizu. Human drivers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> notes <coughs> this is literally um the this is literally uh, a scene in um in Moana basically so how the, the movie Moana went 
I want I want to put in another answer even though it's not gonna count. Uh, All right. Florida twenty thirty four. This is one that can have multiple winners. So I like multiple answers. I'll give you multiple. I'll give multiple people multiple points, and you know for that you get a truth. You get a, you get a truth point. We're in the last round, all right? I give multiple people points. I give people pity points, and I give people no points. Is going up in there? Whoop, wrong way. That was last times. Send that in. There we go. Here it is. Here is the next image. I need you to caption this. Hold on. I was looking at the screen. What the fuck? <laughs> I need you to caption this. Why would you put this picture in your game show? It makes no sense. <laughs> Like okay, what what did I just see like five minutes ago? What did I just see like thirty minutes, thirty seconds ago? <laughs> you don't need to ask that question. That's, Mizu, 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 go ahead, caption this image. Bill from accounting. Yeah, you know I'll, go go Carter. Prices are going bananas. <laughs> what was that image that I saw thirty seconds ago? Oh my god, are you going back to the image thirty seconds ago? <laughs> we don't need to talk about the image, all right? We did not. Is that your answer? Is that your answer for this? <laughs> That's my question, but let's go with that, all right? Let's let's go with that. Me one, me wondering about because... the image for a sec. POB. This is my final, this is my final answer. <laughs> my final answer is why are you constantly circumventing the game rules? I'm just gonna, you know. Sorry, I my game rules here and give a point to Carpenter. <laughs> this, this, this is literally, this meme is 100% accurate. He's been, he's been circumventing mm -hmm. it, the game rules multiple times throughout this tenure. And I suspect mm -hmm. he's doing illegal activities from behind the scenes. Wait a POB, me trying Never mind to that. The game. Me trying to follow the rules of the game, me going bananas. Caption this. On my way to fuck your bitch. <laughs> I would like to, uh, I would like to pass this on to the next person because my initial thoughts on <laughs> in this image is just inappropriate for no. stream. So answer I'm it. Not... Say it. Say it. No. no I'm say not, it. I'm not gonna sink say your stream for this. Say it. Say I'm it. I'm not sinking your stream for this. Say it. Notes. Pet Adolf Hitler on his um on his prom night. Uh, <laughs> Me, my turn. Edgar Allan Poe on the on my on their way to fuck your mom. But I'm giving I'm giving it to Mizu for originality. Thank you. Wait, what what did he say? I didn't hear it. I said me on my way to fuck your bitch. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Prepare yourself for this one, guys. I'm holding on. But well, you never told me to hold on. I'm gonna... <laughs> it's the caption. This one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> wondering what the fuck, how the fuck the rules work. You remember Bernie? This is him now. <laughs> Made myself photorealistic, Ernie. I'm photorealistic, mm -hmm. Bert. All right. <laughs> Notes. I literally just said it. What is it? Uh, remember Bernie? This is him now. Alright, well. It is quite a beautiful picture. Indeed. He, he looks like a wonderful person that but, I would love to marry. Karka, what was your answer? Uh, me... The uh, POB Mizu trying trying to figure out how the rules work. Is that accurate, Mizu? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm confused. I don't get it. <laughs> it is accurate. Congratulations, I think it's me, get a point. Me trying to understand um <laughs> in how inflation works. And then you know Mizu, you get a point for being you know a good thin boy. And another Thank point. You. For being your last minute as well. Congratulations. And notes. Wow, you. you know, I'm going to give you a pity point. Congratulations, a pity point. How about two pity points? Points don't define the winner. I know I'm a winner. I give you two pity points. 
Well, I mean, well, I mean, I mean I'm gonna break your legs. I mean, Carker, you are a winner. Friendly, the host. You are a winner, unless Friendly anyone wants host. to beg for a point or two, you know. No. I re I really love your natural green hair. It looks oh, really Carker. soft. Thank you, thank you, Carker. That is very that is very nice of you. Thank you for clarifying me the other day that your hair is naturally green. Not All right, Mizu, how many? Do you want to do any sucking up for me? You're a, you're a good cat. I know I am. But you can't tell me something gonna, I already know. You're not going to pat him on the head? I you're can't. Head. My arms don't move. That means, Carver, congratulations, you win two games in a row! Yay, I'm glad I know how the rules work. A round of applause, a round of applause for Carker. Woo! Oh, I need I need to change something real quick. Ooh, cause... There it is. No, I've said my piece. Carker, final words, any nice final words, I don't know. If you want more Tadbox Car and Carker, join uh, join us next time on Frumpy Stream at twitch.tv slash Frumpy Les BT71 for D D nights. I guess Mizu, do you have any mini shout out places? I don't know. Follow me on Twitter at Mizuhana O V T. For some oh, based yeah, yeah. some for some based and very um big brain opinions. Oh shit! Yeah, you can also just follow Carker BT as well. I told you to be said Carker BT. The most based and level-headed opinions. Practically the smartest person on 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 Twitter. Notes, go ahead. You know, any places to find you? Shout out places. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna go and take a piss. Okay, well that's. <laughs> Have fun pissing. That that's that's cool, I guess. Um, well, um, I have like bye bye. Someone you can read out to hold on. I think maybe night. I'll, I'll give you like two options. All right, all right, uh huh. You good if I poof? Yes, you can poof. Have a good night. Thank night, you for bye. thank you for coming in. Sorry, I didn't win. I don't, I'm not sorry, I'm, I'm not sorry to notes though. <laughs> Damn.